Hi guys, Danny Bench from SourceFort Services here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows 7. All right, before we get the process started, I want to remind you to back up all of your data before you reinstall Windows. Um, reinstalling Windows, even doing a repair install, can lose your documents, lose your photos. So you want to make sure you've got those backed up onto some other device before you do this. And we are not responsible for any data loss. Windows can become corrupt or have critical errors that can't be repaired. It might be best to wipe the computer clean and reinstall Windows. A virus that can't be removed or corruption from the removal is also another good reason to reinstall Windows. Um, sometimes you'll just be getting random blue screen errors and that also is part of the problem. So before you reinstall Windows, it's a good idea to run a full diagnostic on all of the hardware of your computer first, especially on your hard drive. Some, sometimes it's just a hard drive going bad, and if you reinstall Windows, it might, might work for a couple of weeks, and then it'll have the same problems again or have different problems. Um, a lot of chronic blue screen errors, a lot of times, are, are a sign that there's a bad hard drive. I know that most Dell computers come with a built-in diagnostics menu, so you reboot your computer if it's a Dell, and there's other ones with uh, Gateway and a couple of other brands. But with the Dell specifically, if you go to the F12 menu, when you're starting up your computer on the boot screen, then it'll give you some options and you can choose to boot to the Dell Diagnostics and it'll run a full system diagnostic. Once those all pass, then you're safe to go ahead and reinstall Windows and it should fix your problem. Let's get started. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and boot up to your Windows installation CD. Uh, most computers, it'll be either F12 for the the shortcut key to get to the boot menu, and then you just choose your CD-ROM drive. Uh, depends on your your model and manufacturer of computer. Okay, and once you're started up here, you're going to choose your language. Uh, all that looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And we're going to click install now. Alright, and now you're going to accept the license agreement and read through it if you'd like to spend a few hours reading through a license agreement. And click next. Then you're going to go to custom to do a clean installation. And I've got a new hard drive in here, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the hard drive. Now you do not have to set up a partition, you can just use the unallocated space or if you want to erase everything off your computer and you've got several partitions set up, you can actually go into the drive options advanced here and delete all the partitions so that you've just got unallocated space. Then you click on that and click next and Windows will do all the formatting and partitioning for you. And then we're going to wait through the copying and expanding files and installing features. This part will take a while. Alright, now after it's done expanding the files, it's going to install the features, install some updates, and then it'll complete the installation and restart the computer and go into the first time window setup. This time, instead of saying, instead of pressing a key, we'll just let it go. And just wait a couple more minutes here while it completes the installation. Alright, now it's going to restart one more time. And if it comes up with the press the key to boot from CD, just let it go past that again. And I'll run through the last couple of checks here while it's setting up the rest of your computer. And now we can go ahead and name our name our user account and our computer. So we'll just call it owner and owner PC. You can name that whatever you'd like. We'll give you errors if you've got symbols or other things that are not allowed in there. All right, and you can set a password if you'd like to, and make sure you have a good hint in case you forget it. I'm going to go ahead and go without it. And here we will enter in the product key. So you must have a valid 
Windows product key to install this. All right, and usually you're going to leave the automatically activate Windows when I'm online, so it'll just automatically activate itself and won't give you any problems. I do not want to do that with this one. Okay, on this you're going to click the Use Recommended Settings. That'll make sure you get all your Windows updates. And then choose your correct time zone for your time. Make sure the date and time is correct. And if you're on your home network when you're setting this up, you're going to want to click on Home Network. Okay, it'll finalize the installation. And then it should start up to the desktop the next time it reboots here. Alright. The last thing to do is to make sure that all the drivers are installed and installed properly. Um, you can do this by going to the Start menu. You can right click on Computer and go to Manage. And then in here you can go to Device Manager. If you see anything in other devices like this, the base system device or if your sound isn't working on your computer and you see an audio controller and it's in other devices that means you need to go to the manufacturer of your computer's website whether it's HP or Toshiba or whoever and go to their support page for your specific system model and download and install the drivers. Uh, it looks like the video drivers are not installed correctly because I've got this really huge nasty screen resolution too. So with each computer model it's a little bit different uh, depending on if your computer came with Windows 7 or if you upgraded to Windows 7 later from a different older operating system some of these might automatically be installed and included with Windows 7 so you'll just have to see what's working on your computer when you're done and that is how you install Windows 7 thank you for watching please remember to like subscribe and comment on the video below thank you